friends, it's Lopez with the new Who review, and this time it's The Planet of the Spiders. Spiders from the planet Metabelius 3 seek the blue crystal the doctor, um, <laughs> found some time ago. What? What's pretty? Yeah, I, I suppose so. Evil men seeking power, led by a fellow named Lupton, have made a pact with the spiders, and by misusing meditation rituals, have opened a rift between our two worlds. On Metabelius III, human colonists struggle to survive against the rule of the Eight Legs. What? Arach Arachno what? Lucky me. Now the doctor must travel to Metabelius III and confront the council and their gigantic mutated queen and try to save us all from the planet of the spiders. This six-part story will be released on DVD later this year and it is worth watching for so many different reasons. I really hope you get to see it. There's some really great stuff in this story. Oh, the tragedy of Professor Clegg Wow. Uh, the Spider Council was really well done. And I loved uh, Isan Churchman, who was also the voice of Alpha Centauri, and Kismet Delgado, the uh, widow of Roger Delgado, the master. Uh, these voices are very, very creepy. Uh, John Kane was great as Tommy. I laughed out loud and f felt guilty about it, but he made me laugh when he went to look at Tom's pretties. I busted a gut, man. Uh, Tommy got a lot of free stuff. <laughs> and then he read one of my favorite poems, Blake's Tiger. Uh, one of my favorite things about the whole show, the whole thing, is how they bring things back. Uh, so many resolutions. Uh, Mike Yates finds his redemption for his poor judgment in uh, Invasion of the Dinosaurs. And the Blue Crystal from Metabelius III, first mentioned in Carnival of Monsters, and then actually discovered in The Green Death, is pivotal in this story. Uh, there is this really over-the-top chase scene, which I loved. Uh, gyrocopter, Bessie, Hovercraft, Whomobile. And speaking of the Whomobile, I've discovered another blatant ripoff of the Doctor. A white-haired, eccentric genius in a flying car. Coincidence? I think not. There is one scene that really made me howl. I was laughing so hard when the Doctor and Sarah Jane and the older man are wrapped in webbing and they're swapping exposition. The old man was so calm and so stoic about death, uh, try to get some rest. It reminded me of Eric Idle at the end of Life of Brian. Uh, he really, really made me laugh. This is the end of the John Pertwee era. Uh, I've said this before, Mr. Pertwee is my favorite doctor, and I feel a real sadness uh, when he generated. This was my second time watching the whole series through, and I really enjoyed the Kanpo Choje storyline more this time around because of that. What's wrong with you? You don't talk like that. <laughs> what do you... Do? Is that the blue crystal? Okay, that was different. <laughs> uh, things are... probably going to be changing around here. <laughs> Uh, see you in time. <laughs>